So I have the day off school today, and although I am working on other content for next weekend, I suggested something on my community page that I thought would be fun. I asked you guys if you wanted to see the Apple boxes I and my family have accumulated over the course of like 10 years. And just a little preface, since I love tech and always have, I pretty much always save the tech boxes that come with my products, Apple and non-Apple. And I just noticed that I had a lot of Apple boxes lying around and thought, this would be, once again, something fun. And if by 5 or 6 p.m. EST, 51% of you guys want to see this video, then obviously it'll be published and you'll be sitting here watching this right now. And if not, this won't see the light of day. So I keep things democratic, I guess, in terms of my polling process. So yeah, if this happens to be published, welcome to all of the Apple boxes I have collected for the past 10 years. So we have an iPod Touch fourth generation box from like 2010. We have an iPod Touch 5th generation box from 2012, similar styling and sticker. We have an iPhone 4S 8 gigabyte box. This is my first phone that I shared with my sister. We have an iPhone 5C box. I believe this was my dad's phone in 2013. Next up, we got an iPhone 5S box. Some of you might be familiar with this. This was my phone back when I was 15. Next up, we got an iPhone 6 box. This is what my dad got in the summer of 2015. Next up is another one of my dad's phones. This was his 7 Plus that he got in 2016. Here we have an iPhone 8 box. I believe this is the box of my mom's current phone. Next up, we got my iPhone 10s Max box. I got this in 2018. And then we have my two current iPhone boxes, the iPhone 11 here. I got this in 2019 and my iPhone 11 Pro Max um, box, which I got at the same time. Moving on to iPad, this is an iPad Air first generation box. My family bought this in 2013. Next up, we got an Air 3 box. I bought this last year to cover in a couple videos that you've seen. Next up, we got an iPad mini fifth generation box. I bought this last year at the same time I bought this to cover as well. Next up, we got an iPad 10.2 inch box. I got this right when it came out last October to cover on this channel. Next up, we got my iPad Pro 11 inch box. I got this last July, and this was the product that jump started this channel. So, this is a very special Apple product box to me. Here's my most recent Apple product box. This is from my iPad Pro 12.9 inch that I bought refurbished, which I now use in college. And here we have boxes for the first and second generation Apple Pencil. What's funny is I actually bought this first when I was broke, when I bought this, and then I bought the first generation Pencil when I bought these later on to cover um, because obviously they support the first generation Pencil. Next up, we got my AirPods first generation box. I bought these immediately after I actually tried them. And before I did that, I thought they were stupid. And then here's my AirPods Pro box. These are my current daily driver headphones that I have in my pocket at all times. Here's a box to the current case that I have on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. I love it to death and I'm actually holding it right now. Here's a box to my Apple Watch Series 4, which I actually don't really use anymore. Moving on to Mac, this is a 2012 13 inch MacBook Pro box. This computer was awesome. It was a family laptop, it had an i7 in it, and um, I remember playing Minecraft on this for hours on end. Next up, we got the box to my mid 2014 MacBook Pro Retina. This was my first laptop that I had to myself, and I used it up until earlier this year for pretty much everything. And here we have the box to my daily driver laptop, the baseline 2019 MacBook Pro 13 inch. And before I forget, we have an open boxed Apple wired keyboard that we got from Best Buy. And last up here, we have firstly, a 2011 iMac 21 and a half inch. This is my family's first Mac computer and it lasted my mom. This was her computer for like seven years until the GPU fried and we got her a new one, which is I think a 2019 baseline iMac 21 and a half inch that has an SSD in it. This is the 1080p version. Um, so it's not the 4K version, but it has an i5 in it. But we did get her like a hybrid, you know, hard drive SSD because we didn't want her to have a 5,400 RPM hard drive in there. That would be not good. And finally, we have my baby, my workstation, the iMac 5K with a Core i9 Vega 48. Um, all that good stuff souped up. I actually got, you know, uh, aftermarket RAM I put in there. So this computer has like 40 gigs of RAM and like a lot of external storage. And I use this to edit my YouTube videos on. So let's survey the damage that we did here. I have to put all of this away in a minute. Um, the table here is just kind of crazy. Keep in mind, this is over the course of like a decade. And a lot of these products that I bought are for the purposes of my channel. So they're like technically business expenses. But yeah, um, you're welcome, Apple. You're welcome for all the money that we forked over to you for the past 10 years of my life.
And um, yeah. And that about wraps things up. I hope this video was fun, a little change of pace. Expect more content coming soon. I'm gonna have a Samsung A51 budget Android phone unboxing this Wednesday. And of course, more content coming for Saturday and Sunday. I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.